A good guy with a gun, you say? This is Ralph Yarl, a 16-year-old boy from Kansas City. He was shot, and according to his uncle, he was shot once in the head, and once he fell to the ground, he was shot again. His crime? He rang at the wrong doorbell. Ralph was sent on an errand to pick up his siblings, but got the address mixed up and went to the wrong house. When he rang the doorbell at that wrong house, the homeowner simply shot him. Then he shot him again. Ralph did what he could to survive. He staggered off and went to three different homes and knocked at the door, begging for help. He was finally helped when a homeowner opened the door and told him to wait, but to hold his hands up. The man who shot Ralph uh, was held by police for 24 hours, but eventually had to be released in compliance with the Missouri law that limits the amount of time that police can hold somebody on a felony suspicious without filing formal charges. And police in this case are waiting for a formal statement from Ralph, who's been shot and fortunately didn't die. So he'll be able to give a formal statement. Fortunately for Ralph and his family, he's now in stable conditions. Now, this may not be formally a hate crime, but it is a crime where race, the broad firearms availability in the United States, and the far west mentality of the Castle Doctrine certainly played a role. Once again, America, it is time to stop sacrificing our young citizens at the altar of the Second Amendment. It is time to stop.